Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TDD Tom's Tech Time. Finally, I am back after more than one whole month without a new video. Now there is a new video and we are talking about the rumors on the new DJI Phantom 4 or even Phantom Tomato. Many names have been leaked. Phantom X, we don't know. I think it's probably going to be a Phantom 4, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> It all got serious when there was a snapshot in the social media that was showing an email from DJI. And I can show that to you right now as well. And that email simply says, save the date, DJI is going to make an announcement at the 1st of March 2016 at 11 a.m. in the morning in New York City. Of course, 11 a.m. New York City time. New York City has its own time zone, which is pretty cool. That email is probably real, as I said. I know from different sources that there is going to be something in New York City, that there is something going to be announced. So uh, we can pretty much say, yes, that is real and not a fake. We should expect a new DJI Phantom. Why is that so? Simply because the Inspire series got an upgrade, the X5 upgrade, which is quite an awesome upgrade, and DJI shouldn't be reinventing the Inspire right now, only after a couple of months. That would be kind of stupid, especially if you bought one of these super expensive cameras, and now you can throw it away for an, I don't know, X... 8R maybe? No, they are not going to do that. They are under pressure after Typhoon released the Typhoon H, which, which is a, a hexacopter with six rotors and some pretty cool functions, some intelligent flight modes. And um, they, for example, have a monitor built into the remote controller, which is pretty cool. You don't need a smartphone. You don't need the newest iPhone 6 something or whatever. It is actually pretty cool. And it has retractable landing gear. And the most awesome thing about it is that it has a collision avoidance system. And DJI is kind of under pressure because Dell invented that system and now there is another big competitor entering the market. And we all think that DJI is probably going to add some kind of a collision avoidance system uh, to the new DJI Phantom series as well. Next to that, DJI might even add a software feature that enables um, live camera tracking, which means you could tap at your monitor at an object yourself, for example, or I don't know, something interesting, and um, the camera then follows that around. We don't know if that comes true, but at least there are some rumors going on. And next, we want to take a look at some photos that got leaked of the DJI Phantom 4, and we want to talk about the photos a little bit. The first thing that we see is that the body kind of looks the same as the entire DJI Phantom series. They haven't really been changing a lot. But what has changed is the surface. It looks shiny, the body has some kind of a metal plate built in with the most part of the gimbal hidden inside the UAV for better protection. This is actually pretty cool. I've heard of so many cases when um, people, I don't know, crashed and uh, they not only crashed, for example, a propeller, but they crashed the gimbal as well. And that, of course, should be better protected right now, which is quite cool. Next to that, the LEDs look different and the arms might even be strengthened to prevent shell cracks from happening. And these shell cracks were actually quite a big mess with the DJI Phantom 3 series. So hopefully they changed that. And uh, there might be another change on the gimbal. The camera seems to be held on both sides from now on in a Y-shaped bracket, as you can see it in that picture. Maybe they even fixed, for example, the tilting horizon and problems like that. Hopefully they did that at least. Uh, the landing gear, against many wishes, does not look like it would be retractable. Um, but the motors look different though. And what they changed can't be said for sure right now though. And uh, there has been another big change. If, of course, it is true, those pictures, again, are not confirmed by anyone. The battery compartment looks a lot wider and the batteries look a lot wider as well. And there are many stickers on these pictures. I know it, it's kind of weird, but if the battery is that much bigger, we can um, hope for extended flight times and or stronger motors. And uh, that would actually be pretty, pretty nice. 30 minutes or 40 minutes of flight time would be a very, very nice gift. Next to these photos, there has been a photo, and uh, I can show that to you right now as well. It shows a 6K camera label on the side of the camera, but I must be honest, I don't think this is real. This I don't know, the, the entire image looks kind of fake, and I haven't heard of any details about 6K, and I don't even know why 6K would make that much sense. 
I was actually hoping for a zoom function or something like that. Um, I mean, what is the, 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 main, the main pro of having 6K? It would be super sharp and um, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Most people do not have even 4K screens. I do not even own a 4K screen. I only own Full HD screens as most people out there. The only big pro that I have from 4K material already is that I can crop zoom into the image without losing quality, which is quite cool. And of course 6K would even um, add more space to crop in, but I'm not quite sure. I don't think they have done that. Would have been better if they, I don't know, would have worked out the dynamic range of the camera or something like that, or even raw when it comes to those files. I think 6K is not getting um, implemented at that point right now. Of course, the transmitter is very interesting as well, even though almost nothing has been leaked until now. So we don't know if DJI has an inbuilt monitor as well. We don't know um, if it will have a Lightbridge 1 or Lightbridge 2 included. We have no information on that right now. And there's nothing that I could, I mean, I could only speculate and that wouldn't make sense. I mean, I could make up a speculation. I could say it has Lightbridge 3 included. No, it doesn't make sense. So what wishes won't come true with the new DJI Phantom? Probably we won't see a zoom function. We won't have a parachute system. We won't have a 6K camera. Camera, we won't have retractable landing gear and we won't have a waterproof housing which would actually be quite cool we could have used it as a submarine but maybe and that is a big maybe they have sealed the motors uh, underneath the propellers so that rain and stuff like that moisture can't enter uh, the motors as easy as before so that would already be a very very big change and we can only hope that DJI implemented that even though we should remember not to simply take our Phantom 4 and put it into the ocean that won't work So how much is a Phantom 4 model gonna cost? That is actually quite an interesting question. Why is it interesting? First of all, because the DJI uh, Phantom 3 Professional is still on the market and the Inspire is on the market. So it has to be somewhere in between. And DJI has just, re um, has just dropped the pricing on all DJI Phantom 3 models. So even the Professional Edition only costs, I am not quite sure, 999 bucks. Let me take a look at my list. Yes, uh, around 999 bucks only and um, the new model is going to cost we can take a look at this leaked picture um, it might cost around one thousand seven hundred dollars which is quite let's just say it's 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 a nice price even though i know it's a lot of money but um only go three years back in history and uh something like that wouldn't have been possible at all so let's just say it's um a price we can live and deal with and why have they chosen um, a price of around 1700 bucks um, because ty the Typhoon Age is in the same uh, pricing area. So they want to have a competitor to the Typhoon Age. They want to have them uh, in some sort of the same category. And um, that's probably why they choose $1,700 to be the pricing, even though for, I don't know, Europeans and people from all um, uh, continents except the United States and Canada uh, will have higher pricing which is quite stupid because we really have to pay a lot more not that nice because now nothing is confirmed I want to take the chance to ask you what you would like to see implemented at the new DJI Phantom 4 model hashtag phantom wishlist or hashtag phantoms tech time or even hashtag I don't like hashtags but who the f cares at what you would like to see on the new DJI Phantom 4 model. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to immediately see uh, a new video on the new Phantom when it gets released at the 1st of March, even though I will be traveling Toronto and New York City at that time. And um, yeah, I haven't got an invitation personally. Quite disappointing, but yes, that's how life works. And if you are buying a new Phantom 4, please buy through the link in the description um, that would support my work and that way I will be able to buy a Phantom 4 myself and can then continue shooting high resolution tutorials and how to videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. This was Tom from TDD Tom Tech Time. Would be nice if you would subscribe. Did I already mention that? Yes, I did. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Fly safe. Oh,